Hi everyone, this is Adam Pinto. I'm back with another video. First of all, thank you for subscribing and leaving a comment on my videos. Uh, it's really helpful to, you know, it motivates me to make more vlogs and videos. Uh, based on your feedback and the questions what I've been getting on my uh, uh, YouTube channel, I'm coming up with this video. It's all about Thunder Bay based on your questions and the feedback. So the first question that I got often on my Instagram handle also the YouTube channel uh, that is uh, please tell us about Thunderway I'm coming for Lakehead University or the Confederation College uh, tell us about the city uh, so in the previous videos I guess uh, when I was talking about the jobs or about other videos I mentioned about the city but again I'm gonna mention about it uh, it is a small city I believe the population is around 10,000 uh, people and I see a lot of immigrants, especially international students coming here and uh, doing uh, their studies uh, in the in a point of view based on the preference, I could say like if you are a person from a city, you might not like it often the place because you guys like uh, like, you know, a lot of people or like um, nightlife especially i could say but uh, to be honest in my point of view i've been here from last 18 months uh, i would say if you are a student this is a perfect place for you uh, based on the expenses are less traffic is less less people and you get um, you know, i would say uh, the standard of living is very cheap uh, based on that i would say when you're when you're a student this is a better opportunity for you to focus on your studies do your work pay your fees um, manage your expenses once you're done with your studies uh, if you get better opportunity out outside you you can go over there the negative part i would say is the winter it's a little harsh but uh, even i i come from uh, south india which is a li little bit warmer uh, it's usually like plus 40 and it's really difficult for me when i came last year the winter wasn't a harsh uh, compared to this year so i have been able to manage it so you too can uh, yes, initial days will be difficult, but you will overcome it and you'll, your body get, will get used to the cold temperature. Um, that's the only negative part I could say. Um, and most of the things, uh, I guess, uh, in if you go to Toronto or Vancouver, the uh, shops will be open even after uh, 10, 11 p.m. But here, most of the uh, shops or restaurants close it at 11. Uh, that's another, I would say, the negative part or the D disadvantage uh, like the shops won't be open all night or like to the late nights something i want to talk to talk about uh, is that i got some messages uh, a couple of months ago uh, unfortunately i couldn't make a video about it uh, but i did reply on the uh, comment that uh, people are getting cold feet or like they are like they're worried or anxious about moving to thunder bay they have heard about something like uh, this racism or like it's not safe or something like that um i would say like uh, it's a big step in your life uh, even for me it was a big step i never thought of you know moving out from my country to another country and start a new life um so i would say like yes uh, you're taking a big step in your step in your life uh, it's gonna be a little anxious but to be honest you once you come here you will take some time to understand how things work but you'll be fine you'll you'll do your best so do not worry about it just uh, go through the process um, another thing I would say is even when I when I was researching about it they, they talked about racism I was worried about racism or I was worried about how the place would be safe or not uh, based on this experience I, I would say it's been 18 months uh, I haven't experienced that yet and uh, i don't see that often uh, i would say like it has been really good uh, over here like it's 18 months uh, place has been really peaceful yes uh, here and there little bit of elements are there of negativity but uh, to be honest if i say even at my place where i come from or at your place you know you have been living there for a while like 10 15 years or even one or two years you understand where you go you're safe you understand where um, where there is good, there is bad too. So if, if you, you you know you be in a place, you understand the situation, you try to avoid that situation. So in my videos, when I even mentioned about accommodation, I did mention or uh, you, you can see in my comments, I mentioned certain places just to avoid, to be safe. It's, it's not that bad, but it's just for your own safety, I would say. 
so i didn't find uh, racism uh, like uh, i didn't find anything like racism here at uh, and um, see the, if you're coming from especially from if i'm saying from uh, people from india or uh, you know the subcontinent like uh, even the, from pakistan there are a lot of people over here so uh, i heard uh, from my seniors like when they came like 4 5 years back uh, they were like uh, not many international students uh, irrespective of the background or the countries uh, now i see a lot of people a uh, lot of people text me regarding accommodation and uh, uh, you know how the place is so i i can say that there are a lot of people over here so you won't feel that um, you know you are somewhere away uh, so you will get used to it yes it's going to be a little bit difficult to understand the you know the um, there will be a cultural shock that's what uh, i would say uh, but you will you will be fine you will be fine you'll you'll come to meet people uh, again if you are an introvert um, then you have to be a little bit like you know you take take your time but you start meeting people talking to them uh, that will help you with contact building and that's really important over here when you're away from your house uh, that's far away like i said uh, if you're an introvert like me uh, even i had a cold feet when i was like, really tense uh, do not worry uh, you will go through it i i have gone through it so you'll be fine uh, again uh, if you're an introvert just take some time but just come here talk to people it will be a little bit difficult but uh, it's really necessary i would say uh, to build contacts to meet people and uh, something i would uh, recommend you is like you know if even if you're not a sports kind of a person just go somewhere where people play uh, you know your friends are going to play uh, any sport it may be badminton in the lake it or uh, in the confed or uh, tt in the confed uh, you know people this a uh, park here it's called chapels park where they play soccer or cricket or anything so just go there meet people uh, even if you don't know to play or if you're not interested just go there just talk to them uh, you will build contacts and uh, that's something i would recommend you to do because what i have done is i like cricket and i've been gone there and i've met n number of people i've, I've built contacts i know a few people uh, be because of just because of that so once you go there you uh, meet people and you know you make friends you build contacts uh, your life would be easier compared to if you just stay at your house just do your job because uh, at the end of the day uh, after you living here you will be excited definitely when you come here but once you come here life really going to be difficult because um, it's got just going to be a loop where you'll be working and you know completing your assignments and uh, time runs really fast uh, you're going to miss your family especially your food so this is something on a say just when you come here uh, you might you know feel loneliness or you know feel like you way f- away from your house so just come here once you come here just try to build contacts at least make some friends uh, meet people um, enjoy uh, when you have time go somewhere because that's something necessary in this place because you have 7 8 months of winter you cannot go outside if you don't have a car it's really difficult even if you have a car uh, shoveling would be really difficult because you know if you take the you know if you want to take the car it's going to take you 40 minutes on that minus 40 temperature to just to shovel so yes when you have the time especially during the summer go out enjoy explore the place lot of places here to explore um, have a good time So another question I got was about the jobs. Uh, I get this often. Uh, maybe because even when I was doing the research, I was worried about like getting part-time jobs. People say without reference, you won't get the jobs. But I have been seeing this from 18 months, and I saw that like this shortage of labor, you will definitely get part-time jobs. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, there are n number of you know fast fast food giants or like um, yeah, retail sh- stores. so there are opportunities and you will definitely get a job just build a uh, get the resume prepared when you're coming here and just start applying you will get a job then you'll understand if the job suits you if you're happy with the job uh, stay with it or else you know you you have n number of opportunities just get a job first then you know if you're not happy with it search for other jobs and you can apply over there so recently i got another question that was a like interesting question like do you get uh, um do you have issues with your wifi in the basement i believe when two years back when i was doing the research i took out that uh, same i had seen it somewhere or uh, watched a video about it 
but um, I did comment on that but uh, I would say that uh, uh, I have been living here in the basement like last couple of months now I shifted uh, to a different house uh, I haven't yet uh, found that uh, you know a trouble or even my friends have not uh, seen that uh, trouble like if you're taking a basement uh, it would be uh, like you would uh, have uh, issues with your Wi-Fi so I have not uh, uh, experienced it yet uh, and not even my friends nobody told me it uh, in these 18 months uh, another thing about the basement what i would say is um, when you're looking for a house and you're going for a basement make sure that it's a little bit spacious and uh, look for the window like uh, there are old houses which the windows are very small it's fine in the summer but in winter it's really depressing even if you're staying at the upper floor it's really depressing for me personally it is really depressing because the day is shorter it will be dark all all the time and uh, it's really bad for your mental state to be honest uh, but um, uh, if you're looking for a basement it's fine but uh, see, just see through that you have a bigger window um, that's one thing and uh, it will be usually will be, the basement will be cold so just try to get uh, other options like you know the upper floor if possible um, a trend I've been seeing is like uh, last five six months when I made the video about the accommodation uh, the rent just started getting little expensive over here and I've seen the trends like the houses if you're looking for an individual houses I would say uh, it ranges from $500 so uh, plus utilities sometimes sometimes uh, by with five fifty dollars a month you get a good private room um, yes and uh, just uh, avoid the area near the city all that's what I would say um, because I, I have been living there for one year two three months and I wouldn't recommend to people because uh, it's not that safe for for my from my point of view it's not that safe but um, you would get a cheaper price over there. So let's talk about the transportation so I'll definitely make a video about this uh, unfortunately when you come here you think like you have plenty of time but you won't have time uh, be between your work your college and you know your assignments all those stuff you don't get time you even have to come here and cook you need to look after your house everything uh, so Based on that, I'll definitely make a video about and you know, broad information how it works. But I'll just give a general information that you will get your bus passes from your college or uh, university. So it's like an ID and uh, it's everything is mentioned over there. You just have to show when you enter the bus. Uh, the driver, he just checks if you have a bus pass or you have to pay for them. It's probably like three or five dollars uh, for a ticket. So if not, uh, when you pay your fees, uh, they'll give you the ID card. If you want the bus pass, you'll mention it and they'll give you the bus pass. So you just have to show it to them. Um, based on that, I would say the buses uh, usually in the memorial side of the route uh, will be there from till 11 p.m. Uh, you won't have buses after that. Uh, so yeah, and uh, most of the things I would say is like, uh, you can check it on your phone in the Google. It will be almost accurate. Uh, when the timings of the buses or you can you know live uh, check the location of the bus where it is and which stop so you can plan accordingly when when to leave your house especially during the winter because that time you do want to be outside uh, for a longer time so another thing when you come uh, towards uh, you know uh, you're coming for the first time to Thunder Bay and uh, you want to know how to reach to a different place after the uh, after reaching the airport I would suggest you to download a Uride app. Uh, this is not a promotion, but I, that's what we did. Uh, that's what uh, people recommended us, and uh, that's what we did. Uh, so just download Uride. That's one of the apps like you have Uber uh, Rides or Ola in India, if I say. Uh, so that's something that uh, you know if you have it on your app. Just put your location and uh, enter your car details. Uh, so it will tell you the fare and all those stuff. Um, that's uh, that's about the uh, you know. Uh, transportation and uh, oh, another thing uh, so once you come here uh, there are certain groups in whatsapp that's one thing i would mention this carpooling groups so if someone is going to work and uh, you know they can give you a ride uh, so they'll usually mention like uh, i'm going like this uh, in this direction so if anyone needs a ride so they share the fare uh, or else you can also type if you're in the group you can also type like i need a ride for a certain uh, time to this to this location if anyone is available or if anyone is going towards that direction they'll definitely um, they'll definitely uh, text you uh, the f the price would be a little bit cheaper when you compare to other uh, options here 
because uh, cab services are something as an international students i would uh, student i would say is it's little bit expensive so that's something a better option uh, for you if, you if you are there i can send you the link but i don't know if the group is full but i can definitely send you the link uh, if anyone wants it uh, the whatsapp car carpooling groups so that was it i didn't want to sound negative uh, i just gave the harsh reality of uh, the place uh, it may be good or uh, bad uh, whether it's good there's bad so i just wanted to point it out whatever i felt in 18 months this place is really good uh, you don't have to worry or be scared of anything uh, just uh, you know go through the process you'll come here you'll meet people you'll understand how how things work here and you'll get adjusted to it uh, very quickly so yes there are other other companies where they like uh, regarding security jobs i'll definitely make a video about it unfortunately i didn't get the time because i uh, i wanted to make it like a interview with the person who is already doing the job uh, so the, when the person is not free i i'll be i'll be free so that's how, that's how it works so yes that's all about thunderbay uh, well stay tuned for more videos i'll uh, definitely make about the public transportation very soon um, so take care